All right, so welcome back to White House Farm. Uh, what we're doing today, we're gonna be putting a new blower motor in the boat. Our old one uh, obviously isn't working anymore. We're gonna go ahead and replace that. We got a new three inch turbo inline blower. And we also got um, some new uh, hose for it too if we need it. I don't know if we will or not. I'll see once we start digging into it if the other one starts falling apart. But that's what we're gonna be putting in. And we're gonna go ahead and get the old one out here. So you can see it back in there. That's the, that piece right there behind those wires. So there's two screws that hold that on. So I'll have to take those screws out and then uh, we can pull it out. We'll have to clip the wires and we'll put our new connections on there for the new one and get it all set. So let's get into it. All right, so now that we got that off, now we can actually access that. Uh, but it's pretty sunny out, so let's put the bimini up. There we go. Now I got a little more shade down here. All right, so there she is. Looks like they screwed the those into there. They actually, don't look too bad. But I'm gonna have to go ahead and clip these. All right, so let's go ahead and clip this. Put this one down here. There's two screws holding this in. There's one right there. Now, we can go ahead and take these screws out and disconnect that.
All right, so this should just pull off of there. Oh yeah, it's a little crispy. And that's the only thing that's holding it on there now is those two wires and those are your only connections. So let's go ahead and clip them. All right, so there's the old blower. That's probably original to this boat. Could almost guarantee it <laughs> so let's get the new one there's our new one same thing two wires and that's it definitely not as big but these ones are more proficient than these older style ones it's huge all right Let's go ahead and get these wires set. All right. Let's go ahead and attach our solderless connect or solder connections here. Okay, so we got them all connected now. And once again, I just do overkill and just go ahead and tape them as well. Okay, so that's all connected now. Let's just go ahead and we'll do a quick test on this. I'm gonna go up and turn the blower on and see if it kicks on.
All right, so the new one's working. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure you put it in the right way. You don't want it blowing down in, you want it to suck the air out. So make sure you put it in the right way as well. So your fan's gonna blow this way. So this is the direction you want it to go in. And this hose is actually still good, surprisingly. I thought it would have crumbled, but it's still good. So we'll just put it back together. All right, so I spoke too soon. <laughs> I just tore it. It was fine. <laughs> All right. All right. And here's the part number for the new stuff, if you need it. And with this, you're just gonna feed it up through that hole right there. It'll just bend a little bit and then it'll go right in. There we go. Just like that, really simple. All right, so I guess we'll mount this back on there. That way uh, we know how much hose we'll need instead of guessing it. Let's go ahead and get the bottom connected first then. Hopefully this one won't rip. Okay, so I got that screwed back on there. And that's just a short piece of pipe. If that ever rips, you just take it right off. So it only goes right to there, so. All right, let's mount this up here. I'm gonna use one of the old mounting holes since there's already a hole there. And then I'll put the other screw for a new hole. All right, so we got the top screw mounted in there. Just got one more screw for that on the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and hook up the hose. All right, so the hose is secured there. That's secured with the two on the cross strap. And now we just need to cut our new hose here that we got to fit on there. And then put a couple screws in that and we'll be all set. And I just made the slit and now I'm gonna use my clippers here to cut that wire in there because it's pretty thick. All right. So now we can put this over this part here. That just slides right over just like that. All right. And we'll put one more in the bottom there. All 
There we go. All right, so we got our new fan on. Got the electrical all wired together again. That's secured on there. Got our new hose in there. And now I'll go ahead and zip tie that back up there. Those ones I don't need to worry about. They're pretty snug together. But we'll just get that zip tied back up there and we should be all set here. All right, so we're all set here. Blower's working great. Everything's all hooked up and back to how it should be. Got the new line in. Here's the old one. It almost was good <laughs> until I ripped it, but yeah, a little crispy, but it still would have worked. But now we got that new piece in there and there's our old pump. And the newer pump's smaller, but actually more efficient. And super quiet as you as you probably couldn't hear <laughs> with it being turned on but uh yeah it's all set we're gonna go ahead and throw this back together and I'll leave a link in the description for the parts uh, to go ahead and, and order uh, if you guys need to do this but pretty simple as you saw uh, so we're all set here so once again we hope you guys like enjoy subscribe and we'll see you in the next one all right bye guys can't say goodbye without saying goodbye to me. All right, Olaf. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Bye, Obo. Bye, guys.